Hello, this is Brother Kromer from the Nats Park, and this is a supplement of the videos dealing with inference for two means paired data. So first I'll be talking about computing differences, then I'll be talking about explore, the explore command in SPSS, many of you have used this before. Then I'll be talking about the one sample t test, and then I'll wrap it up with the paired sample t test. These last two you'll get the same results, but how you, how you work with those is slightly different. So let's just go through this. First, computing differences. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pre-weight, post-weight pre post data from a study done with the, with the weight program. And so what I'll do is I'll do the transform compute variable. And I'm going to call this variable difference. You can call it whatever you want to, but I'll just call it difference. Then I'll do is I'll take the post variable, take this arrow, and then I'll have post up here. Click on the minus here. And then I'll click on pre and take the click on the arrow to have difference equal to post minus pre. So when you click on OK, you'll get a result that looks like this. Okay. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the explore command. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to analyze, and I'm going to use this column of differences with the explore command. Analyze descriptive statistics explore. I'll take this column of differences. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the plots, this plot button, and I'm going to click on histogram because you can use you can use uh, the histogram uh, in this part here. Then I'm going to click on normality plot with test so I can get a QQ plot. I'll click on continue and then I'll click on OK. And then you get, can get a whole slew of information here. You can get, let's see here, you can get uh, a lot of descriptive statistics here, graph or a numerical descriptive statistics. You can get a histogram. You can also get a QQ plot. It looks like the differences are normally distributed. And then finally you have a box plot here. Okay. And so then the next thing I want to discuss here is to do the one sample t test. Okay, do a one sample t. Now, what I'll do is I'll go back to the data and I'm going to do analyze, compare means, one sample t. And I'm going to take this column of differences, put that in my test variable. I don't, since my test value, my no hypothesis is that the mean, the true mean of the difference is equal to zero, I'm just going to keep that at zero. So I'll click on OK and then I'll get my result as you see down here. Here's where I get my test statistic, my degrees of freedom, and this is my p-value if I'm doing a two-sided test. If I'm doing a one-sided test, I have to take this number and cut it in half, okay? And here's my confidence interval. So in this case, we're 95% confident that the, that, the, that the true mean difference is between these two numbers. Now what I'm going to do, just, just for a moment here, if I go to the one sample t, if I want to change my level of confidence, I can just go in here, if I say I want to do 90, I can just go in and put in 90. Click on continue, click on OK, and now I have a different confidence interval because now it's a 90% confidence interval. Now the last thing I'm going to do is let me go back to the data. Now I'm just going to use this raw data to do the last command here, which is dealing with the paired sample t test. Analyze, compare means, paired sample t test. So what I'll do is I'll go to analyze, compare means, paired sample t test. And so what I'm going to do is, is that I'm, it's, uh, I'm going to do the same thing like I did earlier, but it's going to be slightly different. I'm going to get the same results, but this is, there's more than one way to skin a cat, so this is, this is the, another way to do it. So what I'll do is I'll take the post variable number one, put that here, and then I'll put pre here. Okay, so it's, but it, if you want the difference to be a certain way, you have to put um, what you want to put in first minus what you put in second to get the results okay, that, you, that you desire. So that if you click on OK, you'll get the results. And notice here, if you take, if you look at least the test statistic degrees of freedom and p-value from the paired sample t command, it matches what you have here. This is what we did with the column of differences, negative 11.145. That matches this down here. That's our test statistic degrees of freedom 26. That matches this here. And our p-value, well, our p-value, if we're doing a one-sided test, we divide it by 2 in this case, which is still 0. And so that's, so it's basically getting the same results, but it's doing it a different way. So doing the confidence interval and doing, the, uh, getting our test statistic degrees of freedom and p-value is, uh, there's two ways to do it. You can either use, compare means one sample t-test and use our, use the differences, or you can use analyze, compare means, per sample, if I can get it here, per sample t-test, and then you can take the two raw variables and you can put those in there and get the same results. And that concludes the videos de dealing with uh, inference for two means paired data, and specifically includes this. This concludes this video for dealing with SPSS commands for uh, paired data.